So the player control is going to be almost the same as the AI control. We're just going to get a get an input from the input from the uh, from the device. Um, it, it might might be worth just uh, doing a little picture just so that so we get an understanding of what's actually happening. So if like just real quick, so you can see, yeah, yeah. So so you got like your devices here, right? And here's the, so let's say here's the field. What's going to happen is we're going to shoot, a uh, cast a ray from wherever you touched on the screen. Because, you know, you're looking at a screen, which will be uh, th this view. It's going to cast a ray to, to the scene, to a position on the scene. And we've got our collider here. And it's going to hit somewhere on the collider. We're going to get that value of where it hit. And then we're going to be able to... Uh, uh, move the move the paddle to that position. Yeah, so we just create a new script and call it player controller. Okay, and all we're going to need is that same transform for the. Oh wait, no, we don't need a transform for the ball. No, no, or, or, yeah, actually, we no, we're just going to need we're just going to need to get the. Get that um, get that touch input. Okay, so first of all, if no one, if you're not touching the screen at all, we will just exit out. So if input dot touch count, uh, if it's if it's not equal to one, then return. You only want to do it if you're pressing with one 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 touch. And okay, so now we just need to get get that uh, get that ray. So we'll say var ray equals uh, we say input so it touches uh, zero. No, actually, no, it's not that. Okay, so for the ray, what we're going to need, we are going to need the camera, and we're going to need to specify which camera because uh, because we we're going to be using the special AR device camera. So we're actually just going to pop up here and just go public camera camera. Oh, we'll call it player cam. And then we're just going to say ray equals player cam dot screen point to ray. Okay. And the position of that uh, whereabouts on the, whereabouts on the screen will be where you're touching. So we just go input dot touches zero dot position. Oops, daisy dot dot position. There we go. The pic position of the touch in pixel coordinates. Okay, we're also going to need to create a raycast, uh, raycast info rather. So hit info equals new raycast hit. Okay, and now now we only going to only going to uh, only going to act if you actually hit that collider. And so yeah, if you if you if you've touched a collider. So how we can do that? Is we can say if physics dot raycast. We're going to pass in the ray and have an out uh, hit info. So it's going to be like, uh, yeah, it's going to fill up that hit, in, hit info variable. Okay, so, and it's going to return a bool. Yeah, did we hit something? Yes, let's do it. So if that's the case, we can go, okay, if we did a raycast, now we're going to need to get the uh, position on the collider. Okay, so how we can do that is we can say, well, actually, what really we're going to want to know what, what, if we hit that bounds. So it's always going to be the south bounds. That's going to be the the player controller, uh, trailer block player controller boundary. And so how we can do that is we can say um, if uh, say if the if the hit info dot uh, transform. There we go. The transform of the rigid body where that was hit dot name. If it's not equal to bound south, we'll exit out. All right, and now what? Okay, so we know whether we've hit the boundary. We're just going to need to get the x position of that of that hit. So we say var x equals um, hit info dot uh, point, the point of impact, and we're just going to get the x value of that. And what we're going to do with that x value is we're going to move the paddle to that position. OK, 
Okay, so we'll say transform dot position. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to need to do the same thing as we did with the the other controller. We're going to need to get that value. So we we'll say we'll get the transform position. So we we'll say var new pos equals transform but position new pos dot x equals x. Actually, we probably don't even need this x value, the x variable. We can just copy that, paste it down there. That's all done. And then we just say transform dot position equals new pods. Okay. And that looks like everything. Let's give it a go. Oh, that's where we've got to attach it to the player. Yeah, maybe we can we can disable this AI controller for the player for now. Okay, add this player controller in. Make sure we drag our main camera. This will change. We will be using the device's camera later on. And oh, and we're gonna need a. This will be this will be being sent to the device. So we also just need to go into the build settings and make sure that we select Android as our platform. We could also test it with the mouse. That's another way of maybe speeding up the process. This should be fine, especially using Unity Remote uh, for, for this stage of the testing. It's so quick. All right. All right. So as always, before we uh, get Unity Remote working, just go to Edit, Project Settings, Editor, Change Device to any Android device. Then on your, on your, on your phone, just go open up Unity Remote. And now you hit play. And what we should see is it playing on the on the computer and on the and on the phone, and we'll get that uh, touch input. There we go. So you see, I can move it left and right. Now we're actually really playing pong. Uh, at this stage, may, maybe we can go straight to straight to. It's probably enough for us to start start doing it in AR.